Good morning, everyone, and welcome to episode number 14. This is uh, getting pretty close to the end of the chassis on the car. I think we're actually pretty much done today. A couple little uh, little housekeeping things, but for the most part, it's done, uh, which is exciting. Uh, there's, uh, It's nice to be on to another chapter of this thing, and as you'll see here, the body is, um, is ready. It needs all kinds of sweet love, and so... We'll be getting on to that sooner than later. <clears throat> uh, I need some metal. I pick up a few sheets of metal. Um, I might see if I can get an old beetle fender. That way we just keep the, um, the one millimeter metal rather than use 20 gauge or whatever it is. It doesn't translate very well. It's, it's kind of close. Um, the Brazilian metal they use was a slightly thinner gauge. It was a proper 22 gauge, whereas the uh, German metal was one millimeter. So they're close, but not the same. And when you're welding it, it's better to have them um, a little bit thicker than a little bit thinner. So that's going to be my uh, my job this week. Find a fender, a couple of donor parts, uh, start cutting off some metal and, and bang it into place. Uh, I got this little guy here the other day. Very nice. My shrinker stretcher. So I'm honing my skills on that because I got some, um, definitely some shrinking and stretching to do around the windows and such. But without further ado, thanks for watching. Hey everyone, so here we are putting the steering together. Uh, this was not as challenging as I thought it would be. I just measured everything beforehand when I took it apart, um, and then I, so I can roughly put it back together again. In hindsight, it probably doesn't matter that much because um, once I put everything together, I have to move everything and make the adjustments because the car is gonna be sitting at a slightly different ride height, and anytime you adjust your suspension on a car, you need to do your alignment. So uh, this is a lot of uh, really fancy effort for naught. I did buy new locking tabs, so um, I'll leave those unfolded over until um, until the car is properly aligned or as close as I can get it. Just enough to get to the alignment shop. Same thing here for the passenger side. This is the longer of the two arms. Uh, I went ahead and made the mistake of painting this one, um, but I know that when they do the, the alignment, ultimately they're going to end up scratching it up. So it'll be one of those things that has to get um, probably touched up later. Voila, here we are all installed. Again, everything's kind of rough and not locked down. Um, everything's torqued though, so they're all sitting in their resting position. But um, yeah, we'll get those things all bent over once we get it aligned and then um, touch up those areas that need some paint. It's about this time I'm asking Bill, hey uh, hey Bill, do we actually need to um, run a new fuel line here or can we just blow out the old one? We inevitably put in the new fuel line. You'll see it here coming up. All right, on to the sway bar. This car, given its age, only has a single sway bar on the front. They do make kits to uh, adapt the rear to have a sway bar. I think they take the front one, move it to the back, and then get a larger one for the front. 
Uh, anyways, this car is not about handling, it's more about cruising and, and, and that. So, um, but it does require the sway bar. So they have this unique way of attaching this thing with these little metal bits that uh, go around the lower trailing arm and they're just lubricating up the um, uh, rubber bits there. It just makes it easier for the whole thing to go together. And this, uh, here's my German for the uh, episode. Uh, that sway bar is Fünfzehn Millimeter. That's 15 millimeters. So there you go. That's exciting, learning a new language and building a car. Yeah, so this is a little bit of a wrestling match to get this thing on here, but eventually it comes together and there's a little clip that holds it on. And I'm just gonna shut up now and let you watch and watch my amazing hands and skill. Mostly it's the skill. The hands are good too, but I would say a lot of it has to do with that, with that skill. And for those of you at home counting, uh, I believe I go through this operation, this would be my third time on camera, probably the sixth time uh, altogether. It's really tough to squeeze these things together. All these bushings are brand new and uh, they, they don't like to play around. You, know, you have to hammer this little tab on and you fold it over and it's not that exciting. All right, here we are gonna lower the car down, or for you German guys out there, it's Niedriga. That means lower in German. So here we are, just gonna uh, put this thing back on the, on the ground, and uh, for the first time in quite some time, actually. So we'll lower it down a little bit. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. You know, um, Stephen Covey has a, has a term he uses. You may not remember the words they used, but you'll always remember how it made you feel. I would like to uh, apply that same thinking to those dance moves. Yeah, it happened again. And it actually is in time with the music if you listen carefully. And after a quick costume change here, this is the uh, finished product uh, as of today, but I have one more little nuisance job to do at the back of the car here, and that is, wait for it, two more brake lines. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at brake lines. But uh, these ones, built them up, and uh, just gonna tighten those guys up there, get a couple bends in them, and then that's it. That buttons up the whole back of the car. Last thing up is the sound editor. Uh, the industry kind of knows this stuff as Dynamat. Uh, it's just a one and a half millimeter thick uh, rubberized surface with this tin foil kind of stuff on the other side of it. I think it's a carryover from the HVAC industry where they line or they uh, do seams and stuff with it. Um, it does dramatically change the uh, the way the floor feels, though. It's uh, it does deaden all the sound. It's supposed to make the car quieter, of course and um, muffles and you get better sound transmission with your stereo and things. I don't know, but everyone's using it. So uh, that's good enough for me. If everyone's doing it, then that's kind of the standard um, as far as I'm concerned. 
It's um, around the back of the car, it gets a little tough. It is a little hard to bend. It's kind of like uh, going for a run with wet jeans on. It's, um, it's just not easy. Uh, and no matter what you do, it seems to be, yeah, right here, it's a compound curve. It's, it's pretty, pretty hard to do properly. Anyways, uh, because I'm so awesome, I get it done though. Uh, yeah, just a little more of that. I probably put too much footage of this in here. It's actually not that interesting. Um, that's a dolly I'm using there to flatten it out. That's the the um, the way you you would hear the stuff to the the metal is uh, you have to push it until these little bubbles are gone. Once the bubbles are gone, then you know it's it's adhered properly. So I was just using one of my uh, bodywork dollies to to uh, push the material. Well, thanks everyone for tuning into episode number fourteen, where we got tons done on the car. We got the matting all in, we got the brake lines all done, um, the steering all finalized um, before alignment anyways. Uh, and the car is rolling on its own now, which is pretty cool. So hopefully we'll get a pulse in the back of this thing in a couple weeks time when that thing shows up, we'll do a whole video on that, on uh, re and reading it and putting it on the car. Um, what else can I say? That's pretty much it. Thanks for liking and commenting. Uh, thanks for um, thumbs up and just for viewing in general and uh, going back and watching the original ones. I've gone back and watched them myself and noticed a uh, big change in the way things are shot and the way things are um, being moved along and, and the production of that. So it's all thanks to your good comments and feedback. So keep them coming and we'll see you guys for episode 15.